Good morning guys, today we're going to be testing out Hourglass's Vanish Seamless Fresh Foundation Stick. So I just got a sample, it's a very tiny sample, 0 0.0 ounces uh, that came in my Sephora play box. I thought it would be a good time to try this out. They sent me the color beige, which according to their website is a medium warm, medium with warm undertones. So um, I don't really have like warm undertones, or maybe I do, I don't know. I'm still confused if I have natural to warm undertones. So we'll see how this works out. It's just a little guy here. When you buy the full priced one, it is $46 and you're gonna be getting um, 0.25 ounces. So you're not getting a ton of foundation when you buy the full size one. This does come with um, 26 different colors and they do look like they have a pretty good range of colors um, as far as light to deep um, but I don't know if they have them all so there's you know you'll have to check it out to see if this is something that you're wanting to buy um, it also says it is a full to medium coverage so you can get all the way to full you can get to medium coverage um, the skin types is sensitive normal dry combination and oily so that's good it is a satin finish a long wearing foundation stick with the coverage of a concealer Fluicity of liquid, weightlessness of powder for invisible coverage. And then it says it's full coverage. So this also says that it's paraffin free, sulfate free, and all of that stuff. So um, this is good for people that do not like to use stuff that have a bunch of different kind of fillers in it. So it does say to put on with a brush. So I've already primed my face. I've got the um, Smashbox photo finish in the center of my face with the primer or the pore the pore minimizer and then the um, photo finish primer, just the regular around the perimeter of my face there. And it's been on good for a good 10 minutes, so I should probably, I can probably be able to go ahead and start. So I'm gonna go ahead and just whoo, put some of this on. And that may be good. And it does say to use a brush, so I guess I should have did one side and then the other, but. Clearly it's early in the morning and I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to just grab my foundation brush here and then just kind of smooth it into the face and let's see what happens. Does that look yellow? I don't know. We'll see. So it seems to move around okay with the brush. I was going to try to use a uh, beauty blender type thing. But then it did recommend to use their brush, so I figured if they're recommending to use a brush period, then I'll just go ahead and just use my own and let's see how this works. I think it'd probably be easier to use a brush with this because it is kind of a like a thick foundation, and when you slide it on with the stick, it might be easier to move around with the brush and then go in after with a beauty blender if you want to thin it out. All right, so that's what the coverage looks like with one, like a couple of swipes on each side. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit more in the center of my face here. And I think that the small amount that you get in the full size might actually last you a minute because I'm not using very much and I think I'll probably get a couple uses out of this foundation. I think that adding just a little bit here in the center actually helped out a little bit with the redness in my face. Just gonna pull in the mirror let's see here all right so far I don't mind the way it sits in the pores not accentuating anything in my face like the pores that I have or anything like that so that's good it's not settling in the fine lines around my eyes and it's not settling in the lines on my forehead so that's good so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on I'm just gonna do light makeup today and I'm not gonna use a concealer because this says that it can act as a concealer as well so if I need to add anything extra like in this area here where I want to cover that I'll just I'm just gonna use this foundation stick and use that to conceal anything so and I'm not gonna do like a full conceal under my eyes or anything like that so we're gonna just see how this foundation works all on its own um, I'm also going to set this foundation but I'm gonna set it with uh, the Stay Matte um, setting powder. So I'm just going to take my wet beauty blender and rub it in there and then press it into my pores just in certain areas there. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so it is, I'm running late like always. What time is it? It's 
seven o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna go do that. I'll be right back to show you guys what it looks like with the full face of makeup and then I'll wear it all day long and we'll see how this 45, is it $45, $46 foundation um, works on my oily skin for the day. All right guys, I'll be right back. All right guys, so here is what the finished look looks like. Um, I think the foundation does okay. So what I did is I added a little bit under my eyes here to see if I can get some coverage um, with the foundation like a like a concealer because it does say it could act like a concealer and um, what ended up happening is it's not easy to blend out with a beauty blender or a beauty sponge um, I use the real techniques right now and so I ended up having to take the brush and kind of brush it out so try to be aware of that that once you do that of course it starts getting a little streaky under the eyes um because that's like a really thin area under your eyes and you don't want to be harsh so i tried to pat it out it was just um it's not good for under the eyes anyways in my opinion because it is very difficult to move around with a beauty blender type of sponge so um you're going to want to stick with a brush with this kind of foundation but other than that, I think it did okay with other foundation or with other makeups on top of it. It did not move around. I think it set itself really well. And I did use a setting powder in the center of my face. And then I went ahead and used the Candy Johnson one as well, just kind of like under my eyes here, um, just to add just a little bit more. So so far so good I think it looks okay I think it's a pretty good match for my skin so I'm gonna go ahead and head to work I'll come back at about six hours or so to show you what it looks like at that point and then I'll come back again at the end of the night to show you what it looks like in an all-day wear test so I shall be back in a little bit all right guys we are Bye. doing the six hour check-in it is 1 11 in the afternoon and so far the foundation I feel like is doing really well. I am a little oily in my T-zone, very normal for me. I'm gonna just take my blender here on the clean side and just kind of pat the oils off and let's see what it looks like. I don't take any blotting sheets with me to work while I'm doing these foundation tests because I want you guys to see how well the foundation holds up just on its own. So I feel like I would be pretty tempted to blot if I had them with me so I don't take any because of that but I think now that I've blotted I think the foundation looks really really good um, it's not caking up in my pores and not in my lines of my forehead um, on the sides of my nose it's a little a little dry but nothing too bad so like I said we're at the six hour mark I'm gonna go ahead and head back to work here in a little bit but so far so good at six hours I'll be back in about another four to five hours and show you what it looks like at the end of the day and hopefully it's still holding up but so far so good and this is a $45 I think it's 45 42 to 45 dollar foundation so it should do good anyways I would hope that it would so all right I'll be back in a little bit and show you what it looks like in it at the end of the day all right guys all right guys it is now 502 in the evening so we've had this on for 10 hours um the foundation I think does a really good job of covering up the stuff that you want it to cover up. Um, it also stays on all day long, which is really nice. It um, doesn't really gather in the pore area of my face, which is nice as well. Um, in the nose area, it didn't really gather as much as um, most thicker foundations would. And also in the creases in my forehead, it did really well. Um, I can tell that it is starting to break up a little bit here in this section of my face. Um, I can see if I look really close in a mirror, it, it is starting to stick to areas on my face here and here and then right here in the nose area, it is definitely starting to fade away a little bit. I am getting very oily now. So um, it did hold the oils at bay for the most part, but I don't hate this foundation, but I don't love it 100%. Um, I think that I will continue to use what I have in this container. I think that the price is okay for what you're getting because you don't need to use very much. I feel like there's a con, the cons of this foundation is that it's not very easy to spread on the face. You have to definitely use a brush for this foundation. If you try to use a beauty blender or a beauty sponge that's damp, for some reason it doesn't move it around very well. So it's a thicker foundation. If you try to use it as a concealer, I feel like it does you know, build under the eyes and it does leave my eyes looking a little patchy. 
and kind of crepey for the most part but it does a really good job of staying in place all day and it doesn't feel like overly foundation-y on the face so it's not like I felt like I had foundation on my face all day long which is really good so um, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 would I purchase the full container of this hourglass foundation I'm gonna say I probably wouldn't um, just because I feel like it's it's pretty pricey for the amount you're getting even though you don't need to use very much I still feel like there are some cons like having to blend it out on the face and having to definitely go back and touch up the face throughout the day like in the areas here for me it's not something that I would run out and purchase like other foundations that I've tested out so I hope this helped you if you're looking at this particular foundation and wanting to pick it up um, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 let me know what your guys' thoughts are if you try this foundation, how it lasts on your face, if you have oily skin, or if you have dry skin, combination, or normal skin. I would love to know how it lasts on other skin types, and if this is something that you went out and purchased, or if you just got a sample to try it out. Alright guys, let me know what your thoughts are. I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, and I will talk to you guys sometime within the week. Bye!